I'm going to go over some of the features of the Karcher Wet Dry Vac. And this is their WD5P. It has onboard storage for everything that comes with it, and you have slots for additional accessories. It's a 16 foot power cord, a 6.5 foot hose, and the floor nozzle has serrated bristles. So this is going to be non scratch and you get good suction. And then it has a knob that has squeegees for getting up water. This has a very unique system for collecting dust with your power tools. You have an adapter to attach to your power tool and then you plug your power tool into this onboard outlet. You turn it to the power tool side. When you turn on your power tool it automatically turns on the vacuum. When you're through with your tool and you turn your power tool off, this will shut off after five seconds. You can convert this to a blower by removing the hose and connecting it to the blower port. It has an easy to remove pleated filter. It just opens off the back and you can knock out the debris into the tank or into a garbage can and then you can pull out the filter to shake it off. Because of the unique design of the filter, if you start to lose suction as you're working on a project, there's an area on the top that you put your nozzle and then you depress this button a couple of times and what it does is it forces air backwards across that filter to knock off the debris and then you'll get full suction again. Whenever you're using the vacuum you need to have the filter in place whether you're using this for wet or dry applications and over time if this gets very soiled you want to run this under water to clean it thoroughly and make sure that it's completely dry before you put it back into the vacuum so that you don't grow any mold or mildew. You can also use a filter bag with this for dry projects. It has a 6.6 .6 gallon tank, a two year warranty, and it's very powerful with a 180 air watt rating.